back and at it with a brand new Call of Duty video and this is on the new voice chat banning system and this is really important because I don't want no one to get banned because everyone be cussing and COD and everything and now you can get banned for it bruh so just stay silent and stay in the party but it says you can now be banned in voice chat and Call of Duty Activision has implemented a new AI monitoring for in-game voice chat in Modern Warfare 2 you can now be banned by an AI for using offensive language in public voice chat in Modern Warfare 2 this feature is live now in North America on Modern Warfare 2 and will carry over to Modern Warfare 3. Here's what you need to know. Call of Duty in-game AI voice chat monetization will be now listening to see if you're breaking the COD code of conduct. Live today in North America, it will automatically report rule breaks to Activision. It will go live worldwide with Modern Warfare 3. Here's the code of conduct, guys. Help us keep the game fair, safe, and fun for everyone by agreeing to all aspects of Call of Duty's code of conduct. Right at the top here, guys, it says treat everyone with respect. We do not tolerate bullies or harassment, including derogatory comments based on race, gender, identity, or expression, sexual orientation, age, culture, faith, mental or physical abilities, or country of origin. Guys, they do not appreciate anything. Accept all races like you should in general. You didn't really need to have this to accept all races, right? It's, it's a natural gift from God to accept all races. So if you didn't have that, you kind of got a problem. All members of our community should be treated with dignity and respect. Second one is compete with integrity. Competitive integrity is core to the Call of Duty experience. Progression is earned through good, clean gameplay. Cheating and griefing or other threats to be fair play will not be tolerated. Last one, stay vigilant. Working together, we can keep the game fair and fun for all. Promote an enjoyable gaming experience. Utilize in-game tools to report any incidents or inappropriate behaviors you encounter. Guys, honestly, I'm telling you, just report people, bro. The more you report them, we get them out of the COD community. It can be a safer, more engagement with everyone within this COD community. Agree to all terms at the bottom to unlock, guys, right there. And I'm pretty sure if you don't agree... They probably won't let you in. <laughs> offensive chat warning. So pretty much if you get an offensive chat warning, it'll give you a message to your account. The details is your activity has been reported as offensive. Further reports will result in additional measures being applied to your account. So it depends on pretty much what you say. Your first report, it's probably not going to be that bad. It'll give you a warning. But your second one or not even your second one, if something you say is really bad, they instantly ban you from voice chat like fully. New AI voice chat monitoring. Activision has implemented a new AI voice chat monitoring as part of the code of conduct that was implemented in modern warfare 2 this is a new ai that will detect if you are obeying the code of conduct during a match that you are in for those that love talking to others in game chat but hated when random people would say absolute wrong things you've ever heard there's monitoring system in place to avoid that from continuing if you wish not to be monitored by this ai you must disable voice chat but enable to play you have to agree to this monetization just like the code of conduct, guys. So like I said, if you don't agree to it, bro, you can't be in voice chat. And you can't talk crap to people if that's your thing. The code of conduct notice right here, guys. If I could read it, it's kind of blurry, but I'll try my best. Voice chat recording and monetization active to create a safe environment for players. Thank you for helping keep the community safe. When you use voice channels, you agree to the voice recordings being used to provide the service and potential ability being used, including the AI machine learning to identify and investigate disruptive behavior in violation of the code of conduct. For more information, guys, just visit Activision slash legal private policy and you'll find it through there. I can't believe I actually read that, guys. What is this blurry zone? New code of conduct message in Modern Warfare 2. Call of Duty over the last decade was infamous for the insanity that would ensue in their voice channels and seems Activision wanted to put a stop to that and shed a safer place for their community to hang out and play games especially considering Call of Duty is one of the top FPS titles in the genre and growing. FPS pretty much means first person shooters if you guys didn't know that and literally COD is the top game. Every year there's a new COD so it's definitely going to be the top game. Some of you may be asking isn't this an invasion of privacy? The answer is a firm no. The servers and voice channels are created and hosted by Activision meaning they have control over its usage by the company and its consumers. Since the voice channels and public matches aren't privately owned by the consumer and since Activision isn't a government-owned company, they have the right to make this decision and monitor your voice chat usage. Now for those of you saying, oh great, there goes all the fun, this is also incorrect. You can still trash talk your opponents all you'd like, but you cannot use slurs and racism terms against your opponents or even teammates. For majority, this isn't a problem. 
problem for it's not difficult to use those words against others we don't expect you to be the people who do that but it deserves to be said just don't be racist and use slurs will this be in modern warfare 3 yes this will carry over to modern warfare 3 this adds the list of things transferring from modern warfare 2 to modern warfare 3 and this ai monitoring will be the most likely be adjusted according due to its small run in modern warfare 2 currently it's only live in north america with mw2 as a test run but will release worldwide in modern warfare 3 at launch carry forward just like everything else this is carrying forward right to modern warfare 3 activision really wants the image of call of duty to be a positive one they brought fan requested changes to modern warfare 3 and are you starting to test others in modern warfare 2 and now with this new ai monitoring being implemented it could bring its social status to competitive banter rather than offensive toxicity how do you feel about this change in modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3 hope you enjoyed this video guys this video is on the new voice chat ai monitoring system honestly do not talk your crap because if you talk your crap they're gonna send you back and when i mean send you back back out of the lobby guys because they're gonna kick you out of the game and if you want to talk your crap just be like you suck hold the l don't even say stuff serious because if you say something serious and you know what you're gonna be saying guys because we all have free speech and free choices of words so what every word you're gonna be using and if you get banned you know you deserved it we'll be breaking down everything for season five reloaded season and six also modern warfare three subscribe new in my channel and like this video peace